In this tutorial we're going to look at how to navigate your scene in Rhino. Every modeling software has a different set of shortcuts so you just have to get used to um, this particular software if you're used to another one. So let's go ahead and make a box. Let's go to solid box corner to corner and I'm just going to click three times to create my box. And let's go ahead and change this to ghosted display mode as well. All right. So to navigate your scene, there's a few things you can do. I recommend using a mouse and not your touchpad. You'll be a much faster modeler. It's a lot easier to navigate using a mouse. So to navigate this scene, you just right click, hold down your right mouse button, and that will allow you to orbit. Notice if you just right click once, it redoes the previous command. So make sure you hold down your right, right mouse button. The next thing you can do is hold down alt right mouse button, and that will allow you to zoom in and out slowly. If you want to zoom in and out in increments, you can use your middle scroll wheel and that will also zoom in and out. If you hold down shift right mouse button, that will allow you to pan around your scene. So shift right mouse button to pan, hold down right mouse button to orbit, and then alt right mouse button to zoom in and out. One really helpful tip is if you select an object, if you have a lot of objects in your scene and your orbiting is kind of thrown off and you want to orbit around a particular object, you can select that object, type Z for zoom, enter, and then S for selected, enter, and that will then allow you to orbit around your selected object. So it just kind of resets the pivot around which you orbit. 